Yo, 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 everybody, how's it going? YouTube Live, uh, right now it's Friday morning at 8 a.m. California time. I just woke up, whoo! Um, and Netflix new animated series, Masters of the Universe Revelation, arrived at midnight last night. So, my review, my non-spoiler review, has been getting a lot of heat <laughs> from uh, uh, both sides of the uh, the fandom. Um, and I just want to, I guess, follow up or give you an update on, now that the show has arrived, I want to give you an update on how the audiences react to it. You know, how you guys, you know, how you know, non-critics react to it. And so, it's also mixed. <laughs> and it's also heated. <laughs> it's also very very contentious um so i'm gonna give you some examples here on twitter by the way if you want to go for the most honest audience opinion on twitter um you should totally go for the latest because if you go click on the top you know it's mostly wait let me refresh this it's mostly the blue check mark people <laughs> Uh, either the voice actors like Mark Hamill, you know, so of course they're gonna pump up the show, uh, or blue check mark, uh, fame, internet famous people, who, uh, you know, uh, some of them are maybe biased and some of them are paid to actually pump, hump up, pump up the show. I said hump. Uh, but you, if you want to go for the honest, you know, the actual regular folks, go for the latest, not top. But, you know, just for the sake of it, let's start with the uh, the top here. The Golden Pond, I mean, the Golden God says, the new He-Man show is fantastic. However, the only thing that's missing is a short PSA at the end of each episode where He-Man lectures us on stuff like, like how drugs are bad. Um, you know what? This was my wish for the G.I. Joe movies moving forward. You know, <laughs> you know the whole knowing is half the battle PSA. You know, the, the G.I. Joe movie should have that. But that's just my, my opinion. Um... Not a Sonic Tuber says, oh, let me make this bigger for you guys so you guys can see it. Can you see it? Okay. Not the not a Sonic Tuber says the new Masters of the Universe show sucked really hard. They really just use He-Man as a marketing tactic to get people interested, huh? Spoilers in thread. By the way, this video contains spoilers. So if you haven't watched Masters of the Universe yet, uh stay away from this video because I'm just giving you um a bunch of uh spoiler reactions here. <laughs> Uh, Thorius effing prototype unlimited says, "Remember when the He-Man cartoon had He-Man in it?" <laughs> Hashtag Masters of the Universe Revelation. Oh my, He-Man is trending. Uh, unlike you, Snowflakes, I'm not so easily triggered. So okay, he's obviously he liked this, the show. Uh, gonna watch the new He-Man series later while actually forming an opinion instead of getting fizzy that a woman is the protagonist, like a few certain neck beards. Like I said in my in my review, I mentioned to you guys, I, I don't mind that the women are the protagonists, okay? I don't mind that the women are being put forward, front and center, the, you know, uh, of the, the center of the story. I don't mind that at all. Uh, I think Tila is a fantastic character. I think Sarah Michelle Gellar did a terrible job of voicing her, uh, but that's just my opinion. So I don't mind at all. It's just that, and you know, some people say, hey, Rama... Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, you know, is not called Superman and the Justice League. It's Justice League. Yeah, that's true. And Superman ha doesn't show up till later on. But even so, even then, you know, by the time Superman arrives, you know, it's a four-hour movie. <laughs> so by the time Superman gets resurrected, you know, he and the rest of the gang get, you know, he gets to be with the rest of the gang for the, a big chunk of the last hour or, or so. Like, you know, it's, uh, he's still... He's still a prominent, prominent figure, a prominent presence in that movie more than He-Man combined in this show or on this show. So, um, oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> I think the dude bros are being pissy about He-Man. Uh, let me, let's show you this. It's actually the, the, the accurate number is this. Can you see it? So, Rotten Tomato, Masters of the Universe Revelation. So for the critics or the tom tom tomato meter, I'm not a tomato meter. Uh, they keep, I don't know, man. I, I keep applying every year. They suck, man. Rotten tomatoes suck. Uh, so, <laughs> but I'm not going to be, you know, bitter or holding a grudge about it. So uh, 
top critics or all critics give it 97%. And bam, look at that. It's even like different from what, what he screenshot here. Maybe there, there, there has been a change since, yeah, that was two hours ago. So bam, 37% from audiences. Holy smokes. You know, this is one of those cases again where there's a disconnect between uh, the critics and the audiences. And you can argue, well, some of, their, some, some of these critics are paid uh, to give glowing opinions of the content. And some cases, in some cases, it's true. You know, if you look up uh, uh, G.I. Joe latest final trailer, you know, the quote, they, they use like four quotes from Screen Rant. So you can tell, like, really, it's, was Screen Rant the only person to, to actually watch this movie <laughs> early? <laughs> so obviously there's some sort of uh, uh, negotiating thing going on be between the studio and, and Screen Rant. So in some cases, yes, but in, in some cases, they're not paid. You know, not all Tomato Meter critics are uh, paid shills or whatever. You know, they, sometimes they actually like the show. Uh, but there's a disconnect between the, the critics and the audiences. And uh, we'll get to the audiences as well, the opinions, because I want to hear from the fans. You know, I don't, I don't want to hear from the critics. So we'll get to that real quick. Um, so let's see. That's... Finish the Tila show. <laughs> Yellow Flash has finished the Tila show. If you're a fan of He-Man, get ready to see him get made a fool over and over. Video incoming. So obviously Yellow Flash is a YouTuber. Um, Kevin Smith owes Clownfish TV an apology. He not only lied repeatedly about the new He-Man, he allowed media cronies to attack Clownfish TV to perpetuate said lies. Okay, so this is some. This is an information that I didn't know about uh, prior to reviewing He-Man or Masters of the Universe Revelation. Uh, I didn't know about the whole Clownfish, Kevin Smith, the, you know, uh, saga, fiasco, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, from what I noticed is a lot of fans are angry that Kevin Smith lied. Apparently there's a, there's an instance where Kevin Smith said, yeah, he man's going to be a big part of it. You know, he, you know, and then he would like debunk or deny any lies that he man might get sidelined. You know, just because, you know, he wants people to watch the show. He's like, no, we're, we're, we're making the show for you guys, He-Man fans. Um, that's my impression. My understanding is that he says something along those lines. You can correct me if I'm wrong. So now that the show has arrived and He-Man gets sidelined for much of it, for much of the five episodes, you know, and now people are like, Kevin Smith lied, Kevin Smith lied, Kevin Smith lied. I think a lot of YouTubers also made, a, made videos about that as well. So um, that's the that's an information that I didn't know prior to reviewing Masters of the Universe. Um, so this is, this is another one. Just remember, Kevin Smith is a liar, and the new the new Netflix series will suck. Until next time, friends. <laughs> uh, very little of Netflix He-Man meshes with filmation cont continuity. It's a hodgepodge of the cartoons, comics, toy background, and stuff they pulled out of thin air. So no, it's not a sequel. They should not have sold it as one. Um, all right, so let's get to the latest here. You know what? Before we get to the latest uh, from audiences com uh, comments, you know what? Let's get to the uh, to the Rotten Tomato audiences reviews. The first episode is good, says Tobias D. After all the rumors proved true in the following episodes, Adam falling in the mud pretty much sums up the rest of it. I don't see how they recover from this in in the second season. I think a Tila series would have been cool, but not at the expense of bait and switch of He-Man. Kevin Smith owes some apologies at this point. See, that's the thing. I mentioned in my review that it's a Tila and Friends show. You know, uh, and, and again, people say, hey, Rama, uh, the title is Masters of the Universe. The, the title is not He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. You know, that's probably the sequel, the season two title. Uh, be that as it may, you know, like I said, again, the title of Zack Snyder's Justice League is not Superman and the Justice League, you know, but, you know, Zack Snyder doesn't, like, keep Superman... All, uh, non-existent you know for uh throughout much of the film it's not like superman only shows up for like for like five minutes and that's it you know once he arrives he arrives man <laughs> he really you know has his presence in, in, in that movie uh so i don't know i think that argument has holes in it uh but yeah i mentioned in my review it would be so awesome if tila gets her own spin-off show I'm all for that. I'm, you know, I genuinely think Tila is a fantastic character. I, I just hope 
or I wish that it was voiced by somebody else other than Sarah Michelle Gellar. But she's a fantastic character. She should get her own show. Um, but, you know, to have Tila and friends they be the Masters of the Universe show, I don't know. Um, I, that That's the one that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And uh, obviously it rubbed T Tobias the wrong way either. <laughs> and I should say, and I should stop saying rub because uh, it has a very <laughs> innuendo, uh, dirty uh, thoughts about it. Okay, so... Uh, Donald M says, awful, a He-Man show with no He-Man. It makes The Last Jedi seem respectful to fans. <laughs> I've seen this. I've seen this. People say it's The Last Jedi of um, uh, Masters of the Universe. Uh, Victor asks, me and the kids enjoy the trailers to see He-Man in action. Well, in TV series, there's no He-Man, only sadness and disappointments. BJ and D, visually show was great, disregarding character designs. Everything else was a blemish. This is not a He-Man show. Uh, it... It does not act as a continuation. It's a mess of writing, designs, and focus. If you're a He-Man fan, who this who this is supposedly made for, there's nothing here for you. If you're not a He-Man fan, at best, it's another forgettable show in the pile. Uh, Will G says, I love everything about it. I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, Stephen M says, uh, first off, I want to say I really want to like this, but be because it's He-Man, but because, uh, because it's He-Man, but because I'm a Kevin Smith fan, but I grew up watching both of the original the 90s New Adventures, and even watched the 2000s remake. And it was a show my brother loved and got me into it. Wow, this is a long comment. Okay, so <laughs> we'll skip this. Baby's X says, uh, Baby's K says, no, con no, blah, no continuity with the original and the setting is different. Uh, the characters only look the same as before, but act entirely out of character. Thank you. I, I noticed that too. If they wanted to be entirely free and honor nothing uh, uh, of the above, do a prequel or sequel at, the, at, the, at a time, Distant enough that you can work without being so disrespectful to the original. Just watchable if there's nothing else if you aren't a fan of the old one. Um, <laughs> Val Douglas says, that was a revelation, all right. <laughs> oh, boy, that was, yeah, that lived up to the title. Okay, so... Uh, Patrick Wells, this is the moment I realized He-Man is a magical girl, and I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, Mabby Nojika says, Honestly, I gotta agree. He-Man did not tell me drugs are bad. Dog shit series. Um, Vampire Bunny, He-Man doing tribute to Sailor Moon. Oh, I'm deaf watching. Um... James says, I think in part two, Adam will become He-Man near the end and take down Skeletor, and that's fine for what they're going for. An overarching story that acts as a finale to the 80s tune. It needs to be more than just He-Man punching people. That would be underwhelming. Luffy is one of the main characters because it goes about him and his crew. By the way, it, it is the show not... The show is not called He-Man and the Masters. It's Motu Revelation. All right, so obviously he likes it. He likes the show. Uh, Jimmy Gunn says, which makes no sense. I watch a documentary on He-Man, and they know pushing She-Ra is what destroyed He-Man and the entire multi-billion dollar company in the 80s. Syrah says, the same people who say that gay people only care about show having gays in it and not, only, not, and not about the story are canceling He-Man because they only care if they're straight white men in it instead of caring about the story. So obviously, Sierra likes the show. Um, Rigby the Gamer says, just saw all five episodes. This is not for the fans who love He-Man. Uh, GN Production says, why are boys showing, why are boys show talking about strong women? Man, I, 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 I can't read right sometimes, man. Sorry about that. Boys need their space to be boys. It's a transphobia that assumes all boys are secretly girls and vice versa. Stop that. Let boys be, let boy shows be for boys. He-Man is primarily for boys. Ladies, did you just sleep on Shira? Uh, so obviously he wants to be controversial here. But let me put my two cents on that. Uh, you know, again in my review I mentioned that I'm I don't have any problem with the wokeness. You know, this is obviously this is obviously a woke. Masters of the Universe version, you know, you may deny it you as you want, but it's a woke thing. Like it's like, hey, let's make it more inclusive for today's generation. You know, uh, that's how they reintroduce Masters of the Universe by making it woke. You know, 
no ifs and buts about it. Like, you can disagree, that's fine, but the fact is, it's a woke Masters of the Universe. And I don't have any problem with that. I don't have any problem. I mean, so many, many times I mentioned, like, it just, you know, uh, if you want to make a Tila show, make a Tila show. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. You know, go go, go have it. Go, out, go to town with it. Um, so, but... But He-Man getting sidelined does not sit well with the fans. Again, it's like Superman and Lois without Superman. It's like Loki series without Loki. You know, it's like Justice League. Well, uh, we're not going to go to that example again. But but the problem is not necessarily about uh, having strong women as the lead characters. You know, the the problem is that like he man does not show up as often. It's like he's he gets he's very non-existent on the show. That's pretty much you know if you see all the marketing and the posters and the promotional even for this one even for this revelation, they purposely put he man on you know his face on those posters on those billboards on those. On those uh, YouTube ads, on those uh, trailers, you know, because they know that he's the face that sells. <laughs> you know, if you put Tila and the others, people are going to be like, who's that again? You know, unless you're, you know, uh, Masters of the Universe diehard fans. Um, so to do that and then not actually have him be with Tila on the show, I think that's what a lot of fans are having beef with the show like having difficulty wrapping their heads around it uh so you know i guess i guess what we're trying to say is like be true to what you're advertising you know like if you're if you're not gonna be exactly as advertised then what's the point <laughs> no it's a trickery that's what it is um Karma says, the industry, here's a solution for you. Just say those damn executives at Warner Brothers made you do it. You had no choice. It was the man. He did this to He-Man. Oh, crap. It was for Netflix. Well, can't use that excuse. Um, okay. Many of these comments are just not citing one way or the other. Paper Jam says, I remember in an interview someone, I thought I, I thought it was Kevin Smith himself said that the show was more about Tila. But all right, I was wrong. But the fact that the trailers only had like three different scenes of He-Man to show should have been enough of a hint. Okay. Uh, that's how Paper Jam viewed the trailers. I didn't view it that way. Um, okay, that's just a comment about Chris Wood. Bone says, Kevin Smith. What the F did you do to He-Man? If you weren't a fan, as you've said, why ruin it for us real fans? This was the worst than Jar Jar Binks Star Wars. <laughs> um, this guy loves the show. I'm on episode four, Death Straw says. And Kevin, let me tell you, Jeff Kiss, my friend, you and the entire He-Man team pulled it off. You made me feel like a kid again. And I love it, and I can't wait for more. So it's mixed. It's mixed. Definitely mixed. Not all of the comments, not all of the reactions are hate. Um, unless you're at the uh, Rotten Tomatoes audience part of it. Uh, many of them also love the show. So it's mixed from the audiences here. Um. <laughs> Oak Show says, remember when I asked you, what is He-Man? All of the things you're saying is not He-Man, but it's cool. That's why people are upset, but it's just nerds screaming at the camera. Chad Middleton is here. What's up, Chad? Hello, good morning to you too. Thank you for tuning in. We're just looking at the fans' reaction to Netflix Kevin Smith Masters of the Universe show now that, now that the show has arrived. Uh, but spoilers, if you haven't seen the show, spoiler, spoiler alert. Uh, it's Tila's show, writing name only of He-Man, killing him twice, says Mariner Life. <laughs> um, the, 
They still call me says, I think the main thing is that they didn't acknowledge that the original show was called He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Trailer was basically a lie. Folks can deal with change so long as you're not advertising horse rides but only giving them horse shit instead. See, that's the a rough way of saying what I just said to you guys. It's like all the promotional, the advertisements, you know, they put, they put He-Man as the face of it because they know that He-Man, putting He-Man as the face of it will sell. You know what I'm saying? Um, putting Tila as the face of it might not sell because unless you're, you know, Motu fans, you, you know, like, who's that? Uh, so for, for, for them to, you know, market it to, for them to market it, this show in such a way and not deliver and not have He-Man be actually side by side with Tila, the whole five episodes, you know, people are mad about that. <laughs> Understandably so. Uh, Chris Killian, blue check marks. Uh, this is perfect for what it is do we really need countless simplistic back and forth battles between he-man and skelter with no resolution watch the original series if you want kevin smith did an amazing job subverting the format to to bring he-man into modern times so uh chris Cullen used the uses the argument of subver subversion here uh to defend kevin smith and masters of the universe um basically he's saying hey if you want to see he-man battling out with skeletor all the freaking time just watch the original show you know, this is a this is a different take. There's a different avenue. Um, I don't know if I agree with that argument, but you know, Chris Killian, Chris Killian is entitled to his opinion. Uh, when Bin Long is here, what up? What up? <laughs> uh, Chad Middleton said. Uh, Chad Middleton says, I don't get why they have Tila as the lead when they already have the Shira cartoon. Yep. So that's another argument as well uh, that I come across. Uh, thank you for bringing that up, chat. It's like, yay, why, why do this when there, there's already a Shira? What's four seasons of Shira? The the new one on Netflix, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, you can watch that, you know. Nobody's saying that you can't. But to 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 Shira eyes, Masters of the Universe, to Shira eyes, this show is baffling. So, uh, your question, your argument, chat is valid. A lot of people have brought that up as well. Um, Hunter Garcel says, "Bro, you objectively lied about this show." Clownfish said there were rumors that He-Man immediately dies, and the show about is about Tila. You spent weeks about this show was a lie. Well, I just finished it, and they were absolutely right. Shame. Okay, so that again goes to what I said earlier about how I didn't know about this whole uh, kerfuffle between Clownfish and Kevin Smith. Apparently, Kevin Smith said, no, 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 no. You know, he, he tried to debunk or try to deny the rumors that He-Man got killed off in the first episode. Like, but still, like, oh my God, like, why? <laughs> it's like, really? Are you trying to just do shock value for shock value? Like, oh, let's kill off the, the face of the pro promotional or advertisement for this show in the first episode. Holy crap. <laughs> But you you know you can say it's a ballsy move, but also like why why go with that move at all? Like why create controversy just for the sake of controversy? And so apparently Kevin Smith says no 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 that's not gonna that's not what's gonna happen. Um, and you know what? In defense of Kevin Smith, I'm gonna defend him a little bit here. Uh, He's doing what every studio does, basically. Uh, remember, um, remember the movie Star Trek Into Darkness. Remember, J.J. Uh, Abrams rebooted Star Trek right in two thousand nine, and then there's a sequel in two thousand thirteen, I believe, Star Trek Into Darkness. And there were rumors that Benedict Cumberbatch will be the new Khan, but J.J. Abrams and the studios don't want that, you know to to get leaked they don't want that information out out there and so they keep saying no 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 he's not con uh he's some uh what, what was the character called john harrison remember that he's they're like no no it's this character john harrison dude you know he's like you know uh giving the the crew the star trek crew a hard time he's not con you know we're not 
trying to you know redo the con thing again and guess what <laughs> guess what happened it was like a, it was con you can call it subversion of con like a uh, who dies between spock and and, and kirk it's kind of a uh, switch but but it was con it was a con story it was a con reboot um so in defense of kevin to defend him a little bit here um to be fair He's doing just basically what every other studio does, you know, every other showrunner producer does when they try when they try to, you know, uh, put a lid on an information that you know might jeopardize their show or their movie. So it's not a, yeah, you can call it lying or whatever, but it's not a, it's not an uncommon practice. Let's just say it that way. All right. <laughs> It's very, very common. Um, Jimmy Gunn says, Decent first two episodes. Seems like they're turning a He-Man cartoon into a girl power Tila cartoon, which doesn't make sense. They already have She-Ra. Tila looked normal, then all of a sudden looked like Megan Rapino. <laughs> Jimmy Gunn's is commenting on uh, Tila's hairstyle. <laughs> She does. She does turn a bit uh, Megan Megan Rapino there uh, after the first episode. Uh, <laughs> Lolly as well says maybe they should put He-Man to have romance with Mentor. <laughs> um, so okay, if you go to again, if you go to Rotten Tomatoes, the audiences hate the show. There, they you know Twitter, it's mixed. It's mixed. All right, some hate it, some love it. But on on Rotten Tomatoes, it's like trash. They're they're trashing it um, for most of it. And again, you go back to the rating. Sorry guys, my internet is kind of slow today. So it, look look how look how look how strikingly like look that's an oceans apart. Look how separate uh, the opinions from uh, from the critics and from the you know the audiences. It's so different. It's like Holy crap, this is one of those cases where there's a big, big, big disconnect between what the critics, critics think and what the audiences think. And, um, and that's okay. Some, sometimes, that, sometimes that happens. So, all right. So, I got to eat breakfast. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. But let's go to, oh, you're right. You're right. Nazi, I'm sorry, Nady. DB, DBZ says, Nady DBZ says, look at IMDB. Uh, when being long says, remember to go to IMDB to downvote this POS. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, let's go to IMDB. Let's go to, some, uh, to see some of their reactions. Um, let see, where's this? Why do I have Ted Lasso smiling at me? You know what? But I, that's okay. I like having Ted Lasso smile at me. Oh, look at that Dune with Timothy Chalamet. Did you guys like the new trailer? It's a fantastic trailer, right? Come on. My internet is so slow this morning. I apologize, guys. This is what happens when you have Spectrum. Spectrum is awful. All right. So, um... Hold on, hold on. Why is this still loading? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go like this. Open link in new tab. There you go. So there's about 69 user reviews, 12 critic reviews so far. Wow, it's all one out of stars, man. One out of 10 stars. I mean, wow. <laughs> oh my God. The audiences are trashing this show like crazy. Uh, and it cracks me up. Um, this guy says, What happened with this show is something truly remarkable is the worst of ways. For those who do not know the story... Uh, wait, wait, wait. How long is this? Okay. In hindsight, what they leaked was largely accurate. However, at the time when it first leaked, Kevin Smith, this show's creator, in the... Uh, went all out offensive to discredit the leakers and the fandom and, and to say that it was completely wrong. 
Okay, so he so this is not necessarily an opinion about the show. It's basically opinion about Kevin Smith being you know a liar again. Um, boy, I am sick and tired of this age we are. You and Shira, you had Shira. I'm sorry, you had Shira. You could make a series about her, and we could watch it with fun. But no, you had to ruin He Man with your meaningless woke culture. Yesterday was my birthday, and I became 40. He-Man was and still is a part of my childhood, and I was very excited about the series, and here we are. This is not He-Man, this is Tila. Keep it short and simple. Why is it not nowadays every main character who is a man has to be replaced with a woman? Plus, name shows the way they are. Call it Tila and the new adventures of the girls of the universe. <laughs> then we know what we get, and please don't advertise it like we get an, a classic remastered. When you truly are making a spin-off and the original side character, maybe I'm old-fashioned, but Masters of the Universe that isn't about He-Man and Skeletor isn't Masters in my opinion. But uh, that's the thing, I, you know. Like I said earlier, we live in this day and age. On whether whether you like it or not, everything's gonna be woke. Everything's gonna be turned into, or everything's gonna be redesigned or refitted to cater to wokeness um and that's just something that we just have to adapt to i know a lot of people are very resistant to change um but in some cases wokeness can work in some cases wokeness or changing the the lead hero and changing the, some of the storyline so in, in some cases it could work you know but in some other cases it just it just throws you off like like masters of the universe it's kind of like what am I watching here? <laughs> you know, it, it has that effect because of the wokeness. You know, in some cases, the wokeness causes this, where you watch it and you're know, like, wait, 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 whoa, 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 my hero got killed off, and now we're watching this Fellowship of the Ring wannabe. <laughs> it's what it is. It's Fellowship of the Ring wannabe. You know, the journey of these characters that are that are non-he-man, and just like, what's going on? Everybody's like, what the hell am I watching? Um. If you are a He-Man Masters of the Universe fan of the original series and even the 2000 series, do yourself a favor and don't waste your time with this. I gave this a chance, opened up my mind, and was left disappointed. Obviously, Kevin Smith lied about being a fan of the show or he would have not have butchered it as bad as he did. So pathetic. So yeah, wow. Uh, you, can wa you can read the rest, but they are not loving the show here, the audience's IMDb. Um, they are as vicious as the... Uh, as the audience is on Rotten Tomatoes. Hey, look, look, it's my name. I know, Rama Screen. I'm one of the 12 critics uh, that gave my uh, critics review on Masters of the Universe Revelation. So, speaking of whom, let's end on that. Uh, you've watched my video, right? So, some of the comments are mixed as well. Uh, Reanimation of Gaming says, hmm, the other three reviews I've seen, they praise the series to extreme heights. This review feels true. Thanks. Thank you, Reanimation and Gaming. Joe Chino says, that sounds about right. That sounds just about right. This show is going to be a dumpster fire. <laughs> Anthony Frederick says, thank you for your honesty. Uh, Meteor Man says, I'm sure I'm going to agree with your review after I watched the show on Friday. I follow up on Fish Yellow Flash, so I knew this was going to end up being a stinker, even though I was looking forward to it because of the animation. Uh, Andy reacts, interesting, not surprised though. I don't think I have time to watch this. My interest is not high. And yep, the, the diehard fans don't want to see Tila and friends. Me personally, I'm not that much of a fan of Adam anymore anyways. To be fair, the title is not He-Man Masters of the Universe anymore, but just Masters of the Universe. But yeah, like I said, again, that's, you know, for that argument, I said, hey, Zack Snyder's Justice League, you know, it's not Superman and the Justice League. The title is not Superman and the Justice League. But Superman, once he arrives, he he, he really, really arrives. He, like he... He has a prominent presence once he kicks in, you know, once he gets resurrected. He's there with the rest of the team throughout a big chunk of the last hour. You know, he's, he's, his presence there is more prominent than, than He-Man, he you know, in this, like, what, first episode and last episode only? It's like only a few minutes here and there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I think much of the anger is because the way it's advertised, the way it's promoted... You know, you put He-Man as the face of the marketing of, of this show and not have He-Man at all or not have He-Man side by side with Tila. That's what I think gets people angry. Um, as a longtime fan of Motu since 
as was a small child thank you for a very honest review thank you very much it's much needed it's much needed a lot of people want to pet themselves on the back until everything is all right it's not thank you for being honest god bless thank you thank you alonzo hall curtis jeffrey says everyone else is praising this sh uh like the shills that they are <laughs> Ooh, look at this look at this james hack says so you obviously never watched the original 1980 series this review just got you an unsub wow well, I'm going to miss you, James Hack. But you know what? Maybe I'm not going to miss you. <laughs> hey, if you unsubscribe to my channel, I mean, I'm subscribe. If you unsubscribe from my channel because you disagree with my opinion, then that's your prerogative. But I, I don't think, here's the thing, guys. Film opinions or TV opinions, they are subjective, okay? All right, this is not politics. You know, this is not policy. We're not. You know, this, is, this is not a government channel where there's a bad guy, there's a good guy in the Congress. No, this is just like what I think is good may not be what you think is good. That's what. That's what's called subjective. You know, it's in the eye of the beholder. Uh, the same thing with comedy. The same thing with humor. You know, what I think is funny may not be what you think is funny. What you think is funny may not be what I think is funny. And that's okay because we have different sense of humor. You know, we're not. We're not all the same exact person. Um, so obviously James Hack really, really takes it, takes an offense to my review, uh, my negative review of the show. It's like, how dare you? How dare you disgrace my beloved 1980s cartoon this way? I will unsubscribe from, from your channel. Like, dude, chill, man. It's If you want to unsubscribe, that's your fine by me <laughs> but take a breather it's only a show you know what i'm saying it's, these are just characters um that said though i might i might i might be as as gung-ho and as strong uh, as james hack about uh christopher reeve superman i think Chris, I, I i hold christopher reeve superman so dearly in my heart that i think if somebody trash uh or yeah trash mouth or you know talk bad about christopher reese superman i might get defensive i might get defensive just as much as james hack is um so hindsight says revelation is the last jedi of motu and this franchise is over <laughs> the last jedi of motu uh let's see oh some of the comments here uh chad middleton says i'm going to skip this series and wait for the new transformers kingdom yeah transformers kingdom arrives next week and check out my review on that. I just posted my review yesterday. I loved it. I'm a big fan of, uh, uh, you know, Siege was great. Earthrise, uh, it was, it was kind of not too great. But Kingdom, they really, you know, they ended it with a, like a nice bow tie sort of thing. And, you know, if you're fans of Beast Wars like me, I was a huge fan of Beast Wars. You're going to be geeking out at all the Dinobots showing up in this uh, Kingdom installment. Uh, trans Robots. <laughs> uh, Jackie Marion says, absolute trash, worse than I thought it would be. I don't know what the hell that Tila was supposed to be, but it isn't Tila. It's T, hot trash. Um, Chad Middleton, I haven't watched the original He-Man, but watched the 2002 remake and liked it. Yeah, a lot of people like the the, the, the remake from, from well, wow, two decades ago now, right? It's been 20 years now. Holy crap. A lot of people like that, and that's fine. Uh, Jackie Marin says the way they ended it, He Man will be absent in season two. He been, He Man will be absent in season two as well. This literally is the woke We Man show. They didn't even represent wave of one of the action figures, with the exception of Lynn. <clears throat> Team Coster says, "I'd rather watch My Little Pony." <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, don't be dogging on My Little Pony, man. I I actually like My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> my my five year old niece, uh, she loves My Little Pony, you know, and uh, I give her My Little Pony presents, and uh, uh, and and I actually like the My Little Pony movie from, I think, 2017, a few years ago. Remember that? And they're gonna have My Little Pony again, the new one on Netflix uh, later this year, so it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> uh, hey, I would rather I would rather watch My Little Pony too. Tim Coster, okay? Um, Nat Brody says, This is a shame. I thought it would be as good as the She-Ra reboot. Uh, 
it got pretty heated here. Jojo Zilla says that show was trash. Ooh, Jojo Zilla was trashing Shira. And Night Brody says, Trash, come on, man. It was better than almost every other show they were making these days. It was better than the original Shira of the 80s. Andy chimes in, there are literally countless people loving that show to death. So yeah, that's just like your opinion, man. Uh, he was re responding to Jojo Zilla. And Andy says, agree to Night Brody. Uh, the denominator says, you know that this is a cartoon, right? So obviously the denominator is defending the show. Currently 95 critics rating on tom Rotten Tomatoes. The girl power is working and it's only part one. There are more episodes coming. Oh, is that so the denominator? De ah, uh, well, look at that. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Look at that. The critics and the audiences have spoken. And so the difference is oceans apart. Uh, I think somebody... Rebecca Sorenzo says, You know those are paid critics like. Just wait until the real critics rates it. The audience. I'm a female and I don't want the whole girl power BS in my He-Man period. Uh, Texas Ranger says, Huh. Uh, this has to be the most basic shit singling review I've ever seen. Did the movie touch you inappropriately? <laughs> From what I've seen, it's got flaws, but pretty good. From ninety percent of the ninety percent of the people that have reviewed it pre-release, you get a lot of likes from uh, Clown and Fish drones. Though, uh, hey, that's your opinion, Texas Ranger. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Ninety percent. That is correct. But 30, 37 percent audience score. And if you go to IMDb, holy smokes, it's even it's even worse. <laughs> um, let's see here. Some other uh, comments that came in. Team Coster says, those ponies can be feisty. Yeah, man. My Little Pony, man. Big fan. Big fan of My Little Pony. Uh, Jackie Marin says, so as far as JL is concerned, all the members have their own comics. They can stand alone. They have been around forever. Motu has been stagnant for 25 years, and this is how they chose to bring it back. Yep. Totally uh, valid argument there. Um, totally, totally valid. Uh, so totally understandable. Your frust your frustration, Jackie, you know, it's not. Oh, your frustration, Jackie, does not go unnoticed, and it's a it's a valid argument. Um. So yeah. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm gonna go eat breakfast because I'm hungry. <laughs> I just woke up an hour ago, and uh, and now I'm gonna watch some more screeners on Netflix, and I'll be giving you those reviews next week. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. And thank you for chatting with me on this live stream. Chad, uh, Wen Bin Leong, uh, Lao Liet L, Nady DBZ, uh, Jackie Marion, uh, and, 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 and Tim Coster. Thank you so much for t watching, you guys. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Leave the comment. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, okay? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe and share this video with everybody you know. Uh, Tim Coster, finally, Tim Coster says, I will be taking a bath with my 80s He-Man toys to make me feel better. <laughs> hey, you do you, boo. You do you. Okay? It's a free country. You do you. Go have at it. Subscribe, 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 you guys. Tell everybody you know about my channel, please. Let's rock this.